Very nonchalant. Hello there, it is I, the Geordie Nerd, and I am back again with another episode of South Park Season 6, Episode 3. Uh, yeah, the last one, but I've got a Hitler. Yeah, and there was skiing and stuff, and it's always sunny did a similar episode, so yeah, um, cool, cool beans. Uh, link down below for the Patreon if you want to get full unedited reactions, uh, one pound, uh, plus 50 pence tax or something for the full reactions, and, uh, yeah, let's just get this now and have some fun. Today on the Mari Pavit Show, these poor unfortunate people all have horrible disfigurements, and you won't believe how we exploit them for your amusement. Well, that sounds pretty good. <laughs> oh, hey, Kenny. <laughs> That's awesome, Kenny. And now gosh darn- Ah, okay. I was like, wow, he's back already. I should be able to be your guys' friends without wearing Kenny's old coat. Shh, be quiet not Kenny. The Mori Povich Freak Show is on. Yeah, not oh, Kenny. Right, Please welcome Domla Jones. Hello, Mori. Tommy Dumpty? Can you tell the audience how miserable your life is? Uh, yes. It is. <laughs> You're a cutie. <laughs> Do the other kids at school sometimes make- Do you get bullied? Oh, that's fantastic. We're gonna give you a $300 gift certificate to CD World in Torrance. Yay. That'll give her a new midsection. Do you or someone you know have a disfigurement or disability that we can exploit on the Mary Poppins <laughs> show? If so, call 155 Hey Murray! Yeah, I have a friend. He has a deformity. I think it'd be perfect for your show. Great. His condition? Uh... He has a condition called chin ballalitis. <laughs> yes, his balls actually hang from his chin. <laughs> Is it Peter Griffin? Miserable, uh-huh. You what, really? What? Do they say they'll fly him out after tomorrow? Awesome! Cool! Uh, yes, I'm sure I can convince him to come on the show. I wonder who it's gonna be. But how are we gonna get the balls put on Butter's chin? Yeah, how are we gonna... Wait, Butter's chin? Yeah, uh, but that's me. I'm Butters. Hey, I know how we get the balls on Butters' chin. Those Star Trek dorks down the street. They're always making crazy masks and special effects for their dumb movies. Hang on now. Yeah, I bet they can make a fake set of balls. Come on, Butters. Yeah, let's go get a fake set of balls from Star Trek. We're reminded every day that you're not Kenny because Kenny was cool. Yeah, God, I wish Kenny was still alive. He'd put balls on his chin. He was such an awesome friend. Well, come on, guys. If Butters won't even put his balls on his chin for us, I guess we know we're- Wow. Butters, how could you be not Kenny? Now, we're going to apply the latex with some spirit gum. That's fair, I'm sure it's stinky. Everybody Where'd needs a cock goblin from? monster. He made a plastic mold of his chin. And... That's not just a brain fart, that's what it says on the poster. Alright, the original avid cut of Star Wars Episode One. Wow! They were in line! Why the hell would they want that anyway? Episode One sucked balls. Yeah, it sucked Harry Butter's hey, chin balls. Hey, stop! <laughs> yeah, Star Trek. Never seen an episode. Hold on a minute, guys. I've changed my mind. I don't want to go... God, isn't Butters awesome for doing this, you guys? Yeah, he sure is. Doing all this to bring us back a prize. What a great friend. Butters! Butters! All right, then. See you guys tomorrow. But he doesn't get to pick the prize. It'll be something like a razor to shave his face nuts. Boy with balls on chin, this is man with foot on head. Girl with rapid aging disease, disfigured country singer, and man with no face. Wow, school Sounds like a Bond villain. Just take a seat on the couch, kid. I'll be back in a minute. I mean... Boy with balls on his chin. Haven't seen you around. If balls grew a beard... Circuit? What circuit? The talk shows... Them balls would be gone. Why do you think I've got one? I'm hiding my balls. We all know each other. We all kind of stick together to make sure our industry is protected. Yeah, like when someone lies about being a freak. Oh, they... they do, huh? Yeah, they'll make up a fake condition to go on these shows and then take our money away. We don't take kindly to that. Like I mean, I've got looks like a potato white so maybe I could do them, the shows. Yeah, I hate when people fake conditions, too. The stupid fakers. We're glad you agree. Okay, boy with balls on his chin, you're up next. Oh, Jesus, see me through this. <laughs> Next guest suffers from a rare birth defect which caused his testicles and scrotum to grow from his chin. Testicles and scrotum! <laughs> Please welcome eight and a half year old Napoleon Bonaparte from South Park, Colorado. Napoleon Bonaparte. And do all the kids at school make fun of you? Well, they sure do. They always say to me, Butters, you're not Kenny. But I never said I was Kenny. They say Kenny would do this and Kenny would do that. Uh oh, we're losing him. 
I'm tired of it. You hear me, fellas? Kenny's dead and you just have to deal with it. Uh, yeah. yeah, and also the thing about my balls. What condition? You have balls that hang off your chin. I do? Uh, oh, I, I mean, yeah, I do. Uh, yeah, the kids are school make fun of me for that. I do? Bert, what names do they call you at school? Uh, well, um, I guess they call me a turnball boy and a ball chin boy. When I was when I'm walking, they'll say, "Hey, there goes chin balls." <laughs> I'd like to come on and talk about my disorder and perhaps get a freak trip to the largest public golf course in the world. I'm sorry, but we're done doing freak shows for now. We're looking for people for a new topic. What's the new topic? Please help my out of control child. Oh, hey, I'm out of control. <laughs> Does she worry about you doing drugs and having sex at such a young age? Uh, yeah, sure. I, I do crack and potpourri and greasy. Yeah, potpourri. I mean, I was on that for a while. It, it, it messes you up. You smell nice. You're my perfect little gumdrop. I'm just asking you to lie for me. You love me, don't you? Of course I do. Oh, I have such a pretty mother. Such a wonderful mother. Sweetie, don't. Then it's settled. Oh, I've got such a great mother. Such a beautiful mother. Stroking mother's hair. Yeah, he's definitely going to become a new Norman Bates. You made a fool of yourself and us on national television. Oh, I'm sorry, Mom. <laughs> well, sorry isn't going to make it this time, mister. You know, your grand... You can take those off, you know. Hey, Butters, those other freak people from the show were just over here looking for you. Oh, Jesus, they were? Yeah, they wanted to find you bad. Oh, oh God, what'd you tell them? I told them where to find you. <laughs> what? Why the heck would you do that? Well, they want to kill me for not being a real freak. Glue your balls back to your face. I, I gotta get out of here. Wait, I can't go anywhere. I'm crowded. Oh, Christ, what a pickle. Napoleon? Napoleon Bonaparte? I think he's up here. <laughs> uh, hello, folks. What's the Very nonchalant. Today on Mari Pavich, these moms don't know what to do with their out of control kids. Young boys and girls so whorish on our show that it borders on child pornography. Yay? We're here talking with moms who think their children are out of... I mean, reality TV is literally gross now, isn't it? She says she hates me. She, she calls me retard. That she says my goose is all dried up and nobody wants it. <laughs> 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 well, let's bring her out. That's not true, probably. Wow. Well, that kid was getting punched in the face. We are a strong and diverse group of people with members like woman with crab-like body, incredibly obese black person, man with brains outside of head, and Liza Minnelli. <laughs> well, your son made a video backstage. Let's take a look. Mary, I am out of control. Yeah, I use drugs. I can do what I want, bitch. Yeah, I have sex and I don't use protection. It's my hot body. I'll do what I want. I don't wow, that was a brave choice, Cartman. I ditched class and go shoot heroin in a school bathroom. Whatever. I ran for Congress and won. Then I had sex with an intern, killed her, and hit her body. Whatever. I'll do what I want. Yeah, I think Cartman may be lying. For a union to work, all members must be prepared to make sacrifices and stick together. But I gotta get back to my family. We're your family too, Napoleon. We're like you. When we look at you, we don't even see the testicles on your chin. Are any of you bold chinians? No, just him. I'm sorry, but the government does not recognize you as a union. You'll have to go. What are you saying? That because of our appearance, our organization is less important? Now, now, now. I'm not telling you people that your union doesn't matter. I'm just telling you that you're not really people. <laughs> Fair enough. I slaughtered five baby seals with my bare hands. Whatever, I'll do what I want. Now let's meet Jolene. Jolene says that her daughter is also out of control, that she's flirting with older men, and she's only four months old. Mm-hmm, that's right, Maury. Let's bring her out. Here's Chantal. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Sure, everyone in this great country of ours is a freak. But true, physically deformed freaks must be recognized. Yeah, where's my prize? real freaks that make you all feel better about yourselves for not being one. So next time you're watching television, make sure it's a show with freak freaks, and not just with people that are freaks because they're stupid trailer trash from the South. That's what we mean when we say look for the true freak label. Look for the true <laughs> freak label. He's so grounded. Very well. Come upstairs and we'll negotiate. Yay! We did it! Oh, thank God that's over. Now I can get back home. 
Butters, you have screwed me out of a prize for the last time. Oh, double hamburgers. Jesus Christ! That out of control kid ripped poor Napoleon's balls right off! Get him! Yeah, get him! Turned out okay for me this time. Butters? Oh, I know. Yeah, but us grounded forever. Never ever gonna see you outside ever again. School and home and no TV. So um yeah, this this was literally an episode about balls on chins. Well, one chin. Two, if you count Cartman's brief chin ball situation. Anyway, yeah, funny episode. I enjoyed it. Um <laughs> Wow. South Park, balls on your face. So, yeah, um, thanks for watching. I'll see you all again very soon for more South Park reaction videos.